Perfect. Bridget, so great to see you. I know, you too. Okay. All right. So as I mentioned, I'm just, I'm really interested in just getting your feedback as to how, how generally, how was your experience? Just talk to me about that. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's definitely super positive overall. If you, if I had to summarize, it was a very positive experience. And I, I know everybody comes into this kind of at, for a different reason or for a different circumstance, but I feel like everything that is part of this course really has something that will help you no matter what it is that you're going through. And I, I feel like it's just, it is probably like the best one size fits all way to get through anything on the breakup spectrum. And I know everybody comes into that with different levels of trauma or, you know, grief and sadness and all of that, but it just really helps I feel like it helps you be able to process the emotions in a healthy way and but also be able to kind of take your control and power and sense of self back and be able to filter it out of you know what was the experience versus what you learned and how you can use the tools that you provide to help people be able to just be feel like they're back in control yeah oh that's wonderful that's a beautiful way to succinctly talk about the program and yeah. your experience. So can you just tell me, um, where were you on a personal level before you came to me? Like what was going on in your life? Yeah, so um, I had experienced a breakup and it was obviously also during COVID and not that long into it. And so when I saw the preview for the masterclass, I knew I wanted to just check it out and see what it was all about. And I feel like, um, I was more curious than anything. I wasn't really sure what it was that I was like looking into, but then you really broke it down in that masterclass in a way that was easy to understand. And it just felt like something that was the right time and the right thing that I needed to, to start to just process the sadness and the heartbreak I was go going through. And I feel like I'm a fairly practical person. So I needed, I knew I needed to do something and, um, it just helped really, you know, through that time because I, I was in a kind of a place of not, not being sure of myself, not um, being sure breaking up was the right decision, questioning everything and just not feeling like myself. Yeah. And I remember those first few weeks that we worked together and you were very, very much in that space of, did I do the right thing? Did I, did I overthink this? Am I, you know, and then what happened? Do you remember? Yeah, I mean, I feel like probably like the first couple sessions even and the first couple courses, it took, you know, you being able to look at what I was experiencing, but also for the content that I that you provided to be able to start to realize that, you know, it's not the end of the world when you break up with someone and it is not the end all be all and that you have options and that you if you open yourself up to the possibility for more that it just changes everything and yeah. that in and of itself i feel like has been one of the greatest lessons is like you really looking at what you say to yourself and how you say it to yourself and sometimes just on such a subconscious level and that all started to get rewired for me because it was just so ingrained and i was in a, a pretty negative place where it felt like the only option for me was to go back to that relationship when there were so many better options than to do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's wonderful and now i you know in the second pillar everyone has a different experience around the food part um, and I was really curious to know, to, to hear your version of it, because you don't, you don't necessarily have any major health issues, right? Yeah. Um, so, so, you know, can you talk about what your experience was around the food? Yeah. And like the second I, pillar I, in the body? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like that whole section just really helped me be more mindful and understanding about, you know, ways to think about how the food and and your nutrition impacts your mood too because i feel like a lot of times people don't put those together mm -hmm. and especially going through all of the emotions i was experiencing at that time it just really 
brought a lot more clarity of thought is how I would explain it. Like it really, I didn't notice, you know, I don't tend to eat a ton of carbs or gluten heavy diet as it is, but even just little things with sugar replacements and stevia and looking at, you know, how many times are you having drinks that have anything like that? Um, it really just was the, the clarity and feeling more alert that changed for me. Um, and yeah, and I feel like just being aware of all of that and to be able to plan things more was really helpful um, to be able to just see the foods in those categories of like, what, what are the things that are just better choices? Yeah. Um, because I do feel like everybody gets into periods, especially what we were experiencing with this time where you don't even realize you're not as aware. You're not even being, you're not even recognizing what you're eating or why you are eating it. Um, so I, I think it's a really powerful reminder about how it affects your mood and how it affects how you think and being more positive or negative. That definitely was something I noticed. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. You know, I remember you saying, I, my mind is so clear. I feel mm -hmm. so clear. And I'm like, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like even, um, I don't know. I feel like when you're not a great place, you sort of, you're, it's easier for you to say, I am going to like, you know, have that chocolate or whatever, because you just feel like something outside of you is going to make you feel better. And I feel like the whole point of this course is realizing that everything is inside of you and that then also your nutrition and what you eat just complements that if you do it in the right way, you know, and there isn't a fix outside of you, you know? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So now was there a, a, a favorite lesson that you had? Was there one, any particular favorite lessons that you went through that you really liked? I mean, I really liked all of them. I have to say like when I, and the, and the order of it looking back just makes so much sense. Um, but I feel like in the beginning, really going through your family and digging into that relationship history is one of the more important things that really changed and made me more have an aha moment of what I do and don't want to repeat, you know, what you saw and what you experienced wasn't always right. Um, to do that in the forgiveness worksheets, I feel like um, really changed things, like just all of it. That is so critical to everything else in the course because it's like, if we're just gonna continue to be blind to that history and what we experienced as kids, the, it, of course you're gonna keep repeating the same mistakes. I mean, we're not aware of it. Right. So to just spend that time and really deconstruct it was, so important and i feel like i'll still be doing that you know it's like it's never final there's going to be you know memories or things that you dig into and um that you just you kind of unravel it more and more in a lot yeah. of ways yeah that Absolutely. one was really important and the yeah. affirmations when we had some separate conversations around where i was struggling or where i felt like i couldn't fully let go in certain areas being able to just have that daily reminder and saying it to myself, even when I didn't feel like it and just make it part of my routine, it a hundred percent shifted things for me. Yeah. Like beautiful. in a major way. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Affirmations are so powerful when they're used appropriately. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Not just like thinking about things you want in life and hoping they come to you. I mean, between yeah. the affirmation and the visualization exercises, I would say those are probably, and the, the meditations, like, I feel like this has, it just has really changed how you think about your thoughts and how you don't, you know, how we need to be really careful about that. Um, yeah. Because before it was just kind of autopilot, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's most of us, right? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, Bridget. Thank you. And so now if you were going to talk to a girlfriend and probably have already, what would you say to them about your experience? I would say for anyone who, even if, honestly, even if you're in a good relationship, I don't see the harm in doing this course because I feel like the value 
whether you're in a happy relationship or not, is that you really start to dig up and look deep into how you were brought up, the relationships that you've been around, what has shaped what you think and what you consider healthy, and what are you telling yourself? Like, I feel like, you know, there are many people who go from relationship to relationship, and that is never something where you pause and do that work. Even in therapy, you know, depending on how you're doing things. Like, so I just feel like it's such a good investment in yourself that can only strengthen other relationships that you have, whether, whether it's a romantic one or not, it's totally worth the time. And I remember thinking three months is like eternity. Like, I'm like, I'm never going to get through this. Like I have so many other things. And now I don't even understand like where that time went. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend it. Yeah. Thank you. That is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I feel like it's like anything, the more you really dig in, the more you get out of it. Like I, have a, a, had a dedicated notebook and I mean that's just how I like to process things yeah. like to be able to take notes on the videos and be you know jot down the things I wanted to talk about in, in the one-on-one -on -one sessions with the group it just really helps you hone in on what you need and what it is that you know you need to work on um, and I also really love the group sessions like that at first I was so skeptical. I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't want to sit here and listen to some stranger's story. And it was awesome because no matter what, like we weren't even on the same lesson. Sometimes you hear something that applies to you, that can inspire you, that makes you think about things differently and doesn't, and just makes you feel like you're not alone, you know, in whatever phase you're in, or if you're having a down day or just upset about something yeah. it's nice to have that like community of women who are all really yeah. really struggling but trying hard yeah, yeah. totally totally yeah. and I I mean I didn't even know Amy coming into this like couldn't you know I didn't even hear her first we were like two or three two weeks one or two weeks apart yeah um and I just talked to her on the phone last night for like an hour and a half we that's great like I know that I will keep in touch with her forever and it, the irony of certain things that we have had experience in life the similarities yeah. are crazy so it just goes to show that like even if you're doubtful like be open to the process because you just never know who you're going to meet or what story you're going to hear and what how it might help you and just I, I feel like that's the, probably the biggest lesson of all is that I, yeah. I came into this very closed off, not even closed off, but very like fixed mindset. And to be able to start to expand that and think, okay, I just need to be open and go with the flow and think about what I want for myself and my romantic life and how that impacts everything. Just that openness, it really can change things like yeah. tremendously. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's amazing. It's, and even just to have, you know, that Facebook group and all of the, you know, the chats that you're continuing to do, I feel lucky that I even have that community going oh, forward because great. it's, it's not like it, you're, it's not like you're fixed and healed forever. Yes. You learn a lot and I've learned tools and I know how to help myself now. Um, but having that group is just an added bonus. It's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it makes me so, so happy to hear you say that.